Hi everyone. Today we're going to be talking about uh, communications between the advanced HMI application and Modbus TCP communication in the Horner XL4 all-in-one controller. And what we will be using is our previous program that we've talked about with the process mixer. And the first thing we have to do is because the advanced HMI application will act as the uh, server, we, we actually vastly actually have to make the Horner a slave. So to do that, we can either go to controller hardware configuration or we can go over to the project navigator and call up hardware configuration. And once we do that, we'll go down to our land card because this is Ethernet and we go to the Modbus slave and we ensure that's selected. Then we hit configure protocol. We ensure that our Modbus TCP is now highlighted with this radio button and our port is 502. That's it for our setup for in terms of, of doing our communication within um, uh, the Horner. Now everything else is going to be cosmetic in terms of trying to find out like what the addresses are and everything else. But that's it for now. That's our setup. Cancel that and we'll just cancel that out. And now, so that's our, that's all the setup that we need. So it's very straightforward. And if we look at um, the information that's actually broadcasted or on our uh, Modbus TCP, again, I, as I said, it's Ethernet communication. We look at the addresses and these are the memory maps, or the Modbus master mapping for the Horner. And if you look at, this is the uh, reference on this side here. And this is the address that we look for. So for example, if I'm looking for register one or R1, then the address itself will be 43001. And you can see I can read um, that register. I can also write to that register. If I'm looking for a T1, then I'm looking for 06001. And I can read and I can write to that register. So what we'll do is if we look at the program, if we go right all the way down to the bottom, all I've done is added um, a couple of items here. So our solenoid fill, our, our uh, mixing motor, our solenoid empty, our ingredients A, B, and C. And we tie them off to T, app or T locations. So the temporary locations so that we can then call them up using advanced HMI. And just to familiar size, this is our screen, and this is actually our um, our tank that we're going to reproduce. But we're going to reproduce that on the advanced HMI screen. So let me close that down. And what we'll do is we will go back to um, we'll call up our advanced HMI, and here is our process tank, our mixer times, our ingredients here. And what we've done is added our communication, which is Modbus TCP. I've got my addresses here. Um, so it's 192.168.1.131. I've changed the polling rate to 100 milliseconds. So it's 10 times a second. This will update the information. We've added a start um, uh, location. And if we look down here, the I've got my memory address. So when I click it, here's what happens. Here's my stop. And when I click it, here's what happens. Then we've got our fill indication that we showed the, the temporary coils. And then we have our mixer times. So when I run this application, and sometimes you will have uh, um, if you have uh, things like advanced uh, uh, antivirus, you'll sometimes have to um, put an exception in, in your computer so that it'll actually run. So here's our application up here and my screen. So as soon as I hit the start, what you'll notice is that my tank starts filling. My screen itself switches the page and it will show that tank filling up. And I've scaled that tank using all the tools that are in advanced HMI. 
So as it fills up, I add my ingredients, then I'm mixing right now. Once my mixing time has expired, then it will start decreasing the tank. Or I can hit stop, it'll stop whatever it's doing. So it stop the mixing, stop the time, and start again. So it's very straightforward, it provides a graphical uh, information. And because Advanced HMI works in Visual Studio, um, you have great flexibility in terms of logging to databases and email, doing all those advanced functions that most people want nowadays. So you can see my process tank now uh, dropping out. And I can use this on several different uh, platforms, including uh, any, any of the web servers. So it's a, a great application. In order to get Advanced HMI, what you do uh, um, in order to you go over to advanced HMI and you can download it on SoundForge and they also have their own website which is excellent in terms of support we also have a previous post that we put up and creating a PLC uh, HMI training and learning environment free so it actually shows you downloading implementing this so we go back to our application here and so you see that that's it for now um, all the links that you've seen uh, for the video are available at our website at accautomation.ca and if you like this video and like to see more there are three ways you can help us out first of all you can give us a thumbs up so other people can find this information on our YouTube channel you can also subscribe to the YouTube channel at the end of the video. You can also go to ACC Automation and subscribe to our website. When you do, you'll get notification every time we publish new content to the site. You'll also be getting two ebooks on numbering systems and robust dialing data logging. And the last thing, if you could uh, also, the third thing you can do to help us out is tell a friend. And if you tell a friend, It'll help expose the website and we can um, help more people out. All right. Thanks very much for watching. Talk to you soon.